violence in Oakland continues. Tonight, an investigation underway after two people were shot late Friday, one of them dying from their injuries. Thank you for joining us here on Crown 4 News at 10. I'm Noelle Bello. And I'm Dan Thorne. The name of the person who was killed has not been released, but this shooting marks the city's 102nd homicide of the year. Oakland City Council members say they're devastated at the news of yet another deadly shooting. Crown 4's Amanda Harry spoke to a couple of those council members who spent the day speaking with community members. Amanda, what were they saying? Dan and Noel, it's a great city with great challenges. That's what one council member expressed today. They took a moment to mourn the 102 lives lost before visiting neighborhoods impacted by violence. Oakland leaders spent Saturday with their community just hours after police began investigating another homicide. The 102nd homicide of the year happened in East Oakland near 45th and Bancroft Avenues. Two people were shot. One is in stable condition. The other, dead. City council members and other community leaders held a vigil at City Hall for all of those impacted. I'm a woman, a mom. I have been uh, a victim of violence myself. I know it's scary. And I want our residents to know that the city council is absolutely committed to you. Council President Nikki Fortunato Bass also visited Bella Vista Park Saturday. There, she spoke with people who are concerned about their own safety. People are fed up. And I have to say that it was also very good to talk with people about how committed they are to the city. Guns are the root of this violence that we are seeing, and so we have to work at every level to get guns off the streets. Meanwhile, Councilmember Dan Kolb spent time in Bushrod Park. He listened to similar stories of fear and frustration. People uh, are, have consternation, fear, anxiety. Um, and it's not just in one or two or three neighborhoods. It's in most, if not all, neighborhoods in, in, our, in our city. Kolb says in addition to getting guns off the street, people spoke to him about addressing the root of crime. And what came up today was the importance, the emphasis on the importance of investing, of, of true prevention is investing in, in uh, programs and resources early on, well before uh, our young boys are, are falling into the world of crime. Council member Kolb admits the city could use outside help, but he feels Oakland leaders need to be instrumental in creating change. Do we need assistance from the Alameda County? Absolutely we do. Do we need the state and federal government to help more? Absolutely we do. But Oakland can't just point fingers at other governments. We have to be part of that solution. The council members told me Oakland police is dedicating more resources to investigating violent crimes. Detectives are still looking for the suspect or suspects involved in Friday's homicide. In the newsroom, Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News.